Hello everyone. I wanted to post a quick video to update uh, everyone out there on some work I've been doing on MuseScore version 4. Uh, if you've been following MuseScore at all, you know that the version 4 has been in the works for some time now. Uh, they should be releasing an alpha version of 4.0 soon. Uh, and if you remember from previous videos that I've posted, I did a bunch of work on MuseScore version 3. Uh, mostly the Piano Roll Editor. I did a few other things too, but uh, what I'm going to show you today is a continuation of the Piano Roll stuff. Uh, I did a lot of work to port what was in uh, version 3 into version 4, and also added a few new features. Um, at the moment, this is still all tentative, and there's still lots of stuff that doesn't work because this is still a pre-alpha version, but uh, just want to show you what I've been doing. So, as you can see before you, you have a MuseScore version 4. If you haven't seen it before, this is uh, pretty close to what's going to be in the alpha version. They're still working on fixing things, but it's going to look kind of like this. Now, if you want to uh, bring up the piano roll, and this might not be in version 4.0. This might get pushed back to version 4.1, but let me show you what we have here. Come down to piano, and now you can see the piano roll grid all laid out before you. And if you click a staff, then that staff's notes are going to get loaded in. And now you can just sort of zoom around and select them and do things with them. So if you just uh, select a bunch of notes like that, you can grab them, move them around, just grab a bunch of them, move them around like that. And uh, yeah, you can uh, even resize them, which is one of the new features that we've added. Well, I've added. There we go. Uh, still a bit of a bug there. It's uh, still very early. But uh, yeah, you can see that's the resize feature. Uh, we can uh, add notes. Uh, you can either do that by clicking, which will add in a note the size of the last one that you uh, clicked on, or you can click and drag to add notes that way. Uh, you can also cut notes. This is the same th um, thing we had before, and you can click up there to erase them. So this might be useful for people who are used to using VSTs, uh, the old, uh, if you're coming from a DOT environment. And let me just undo all those changes there. But uh, for other people, um, you're probably a little bit more interested in the automation. This is uh, largely ported over from what was being done in version um, 3. So you can see that when, when we click a bar line, the uh, notes from that particular measure are loaded into the piano roll editor. And then you can adjust uh, levels down here. This is the velocity relative. This is the same thing from uh, version 3. But you can just go through and uh, change the relative velocities of these notes. And uh, I, I can't do any playback yet because uh, that's not working properly at the moment. But you can just imagine it's going to work in a similar manner. You can click here and uh, uh, get other things that you might want to adjust. We can change the on time, which is just going to uh, change the, uh, the start time of these notes in the score. Uh, duration is going to be similar. You can click down there. That's just going to change the length of the note. Can't get a good grip on that one. And uh, let's see, and a new is going to be these extra ones. Um, we're going to be adding a feature that allows you to add in sort of curves. So uh, for example, these are just dummies right now. They don't actually uh, modify playback, but eventually you'll be able to double click in here Let's uh, move the timeline back that way. And then uh, just add in these little uh, dots. And then you can move them around. And this can change the expression. So if you wanted to pan left and right here and you wanted very precise control over when it panned uh, for this particular staff, you can move stuff around like that. Uh, and let's see, uh, of course, the, you can still click on notes over here to uh, hear them. At the moment, there's no playback. So turn off automation there. 
Uh, the grid is as before. Oh, uh, let's you can use these to zoom in and zoom out. And uh, the grid will just give you extra subdivisions. And the tuplet will give you subdivisions that follow tuplet lines rather than uh, this uh, beat subdivision. So that is the whirlwind tour. Uh, there, um, as I was saying, this is probably going to be in version in uh, the release 4.1, uh, but uh, you, it's still early. That might be ch that might be changed. Still a lot more work to do, but um, I think uh, a decent amount's been done so far. And if you have any comments uh, of where you would like to see this go, uh, what you think works, what you think doesn't work, uh, just put them below this video, and uh, I'll get back to you. All right. Thanks for watching.